to your health, where we talk to local health leaders to help you feel better, live better, and be better. Hey everybody, and welcome to To Your Health. Well, it's October, and that means National Dental Hygiene Month. We're going to give you some great tips on how to have great oral health. To help us along with that is Dr. John Krupka from Krupka Dental. Well, Dr. Krupka, big push in October to make sure that people are doing the right thing. So we thought maybe we should just go back to basics and give our viewers some tips on good oral care. So the biggest thing is to make sure that you brush your teeth every single day. The most important time to brush your teeth is right before bed. Because if you don't brush your teeth right before bed, now all that food and stuff that you ate throughout the day, it's sitting on your teeth throughout the whole night. And so you have a much higher potential to cause cavities. So again, the best time to brush is right before bed and then after breakfast in the morning. Now what about brushing properly? Because I feel like I'm telling my kids all the time, brush better. But what are tips to brush properly? Well, tips to brush properly are to take and hold your toothbrush at about a 45 degree angle to the gum tissue and go in circular motions around each and every single tooth. There are some things out there for kids that make it into like a game that you can buy. Now, we've, we've done that and I think that is true. You gotta make it fun. What about the tongue? We were talking earlier that people neglect their tongue. Oh, the tongue is full of bacteria also. So you wanna make sure that you scrape and clean the tongue or brush it at least too to cut down the bacteria. Otherwise, as soon as you get to brushing, the tongue gets all that bacteria right back all over your teeth again. And there you go again. And that kind of leads us to the next thing that people never do, right? What does every dentist tell? Floss. Floss, yeah. Yes, so flossing is very important. A big helper with flossing is a water pick. A water pick is like a pressure washer for your mouth. It is fantastic. So again, with that, you angle it about 45 degrees to your gum tissue, and it can flush out and get down into the pockets and help cut down the inflammation and everything. You'd be amazed at how much extra stuff you get out. I love it, a power washer for your teeth. That sounds great. So if we're doing these good, healthy habits, what about the things we eat? What can help our oral hygiene on what we eat? Well, by drinking more water to help neutralize any acids in your mouth is very important. Eat less sugary processed food is very important. And to eat crunchy food like apples, carrots, celery, things like that, which can actually help to breed and clean your teeth. Well, Dr. Krupa, I want to thank you for giving us these great tips during October, which is National Dental Hygiene Month. So thank you for coming along. And we want to thank you for watching To Your Health. was a paid advertisement.